Hey, what is up, people? This is Johnny, and today we're going to be talking about the Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Lost episode. Many of you may be familiar with this creepy pasta on the internet that talks about Ed, Ed and Eddie's Lost episode, but I decided to look further into it because, from personal experience, many of my friends that actually mentioned that they saw this episode, which I truly believe that it never happened. Anyways, let's read the story of the creepy pasta that supposedly there is a Ed, Ed and Eddie Lost episode. Let's start off where it starts. As you may know, the popular show Ed, Ed and Eddie's has been running for a long time. However, between October 7th and 2003 and October 21st, 2003, episode 34 was accidentally released one week before it was scheduled to. It was also known to some around the office the primary writer had been sick with the flu. And instead of going on to make episode 34, the show was supposed to replay episode 1 at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. People reported a very disturbing new episode so premiering on Cartoon Network, some children were unfortunate enough to see it. Apparently, the quality of the episode was mediocre when held to the regular standards. Animation was choppy, sound was constricted, and very muffled. Reports of the line running up and down, similar to crappy VHS tapes, were received. Scenery was described as overwhelming, dark and depressing without changing props and other background objects stormy looking characters also behaved oddly instead of the normal goofy hijinks inspired personalities viewers complained they seem extremely agitated graciously hateful toward each other and constantly about to begin sobbing after the lines the protagonist also had a very bad lips no one knows why but he spoke with a sexual tone and further bothered the viewers I was one of the viewers. The episode began with Eddie walking down the street with Ed. I noted that Ed was missing. There was an angular shot coming from in front of the two to show them walking toward the viewer. He, Eddie, was wearing an angry look. He does when something goes wrong. His eyes were red around the iris. Ed looked absolutely forlorn and practically dragged behind Eddie's tears in his eyes which were both lazy and looking in the opposite outward direction. Kevin, the serious antagonist, was riding his bike opposite of the Eds toward them. The shot became blurry and low moans were heard coming from the Eddies before Kevin hit him, which never happened because the screen went black. The screen snapped back to Kevin and was again headed toward Eddie. The view was so blurry this time I saw was a green green blob headed toward a yellow one. Again the low moan, only this time it sounded like the microphone was broken and a loud static came, greatly overshouting the moan. A claymation sequence of Double D sleeping in Eddie's bed came up. Honestly it may have just been the abruptness but I jumped and shivered. Waking up and getting out of bed he moved oddly around the circular room. The fast pitter patter of footsteps being the only audio. The step sounds were very clear, as I was shown as a bird's eyes of him scrappering around the room. There was no visible door. Ed began screeching, sounding like a fisher cat, as he moved wildly around the cell of a room faster and faster until the screen began blurring again. The room's purple color coloring swallowing a new orange blur. An extreme close-up of Eddie's front door sat in absolute silence for a maddeningly long time. At least two minutes of dead silence and the door. Next, we see Jimmy and Sarah at a doctor's of some sort. Jimmy obstructed the view by hanging a lamp and crying loudly with Sarah, trying to comfort him in an unusually warm fashion. It hurts, Sarah. It hurts. Suddenly, the door of the room smashed opened by a new character, a dentist. His face wasn't shown because he was tall enough to be out of the shot. Sarah escorted out of the room. Jimmy was shown his headgear was mangled and front bent upward, stretching his lip very high, tearing proportions. The front of his gums were tickling blood and teeth were missing. The disturbing part was he had lost both arms and legs before, apparently, and sat a paralegic. I almost cried as I came into conclusion as the others beating him up and bent his headgear. The camera stayed on his mangled face for a few seconds till on the picture silence ever. Commercials came on. We were instantly assaulted with a very hairy Ralph in a darkened shed 
fisting in a cow rapidly. The visual loops and gets blurry again. Scenes pan out. Nas is reading a magazine on her couch. The quality is now perfect. Eddie is now alone without Ed. The quality declines worse and before he is still a walking. The sun now lightening the mood somewhat as he smiles and begins running. The door is shown again and we see through Eddie's eyes as he reaches out and opens it. His house is night and bright and very badly played violin is blaring. The only audio in this scene is us makes his way through the house and he opens the door to his room. Johnny is also shown under Nas's couch cushion as he crawls out of all fours in a comedic way and pops up behind her. Still, obviously, I laugh somehow to forget to draw his eyes and I thought of most. Suddenly, I stopped laughing as he started swallowing her head. Still a cartoonish fashion, of course, but this was different. He and she stayed up like this until she started kicking and struggling. Johnny held her like this until she went limp a zoom in the face revealed extremely small human eyes double d was laying on eddie's floor no longer inclination the camera showed eddie's house for the remainder of the episode about three minutes and the next program began on spot now that i read the whole story about the edit and eddie's episode it is kind of strange because i have several friends in school that actually mentioned that they actually seen this episode but one thing that I came up with a theory of why they think they actually seen this episode was because this show is extremely crazy. If you look at Ed and Eddie's uh, show, it's all a bunch of horseplay going around. There's so many stuff going on in almost every single episode that something crazy is bound to happen. And usually when that happens, it actually makes you think that you probably actually have seen this episode because of how outrageous the show may be in some way. And that's how what I think. Sometimes people, when they tell them something about the past and they ask them, oh, have you seen this? People start thinking in their minds, yeah, I actually seen that. But if you look at it throughout the whole series, because Ed and Eddie is a crazy show, um, because it's, it's not a crazy show, but it's like it's a it's a there's a lot of stuff going on in the show. And um, that actually made think make a person think that this episode was there. Now, the only thing that actually was there to back it up, supposedly, about this lost episode was some very, very terrible footage that supposedly, oh, uh, look at this lost episode, found footage that was wiggly, wiggly around and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't really look uh, really good at all. It just kind of looks terrible to me, and it's very choppy, and they probably just took an animation from somewhere and made it into the effect with some type of editing program. However, this is just a creepy pasta, so nothing could possibly be real of this. Um, but my theory is if you've seen this episode, let me know in the comment section. I want to know if you've seen this or if you actually got any real footage of the real thing. Let me know as well in the comment section. But I just want to talk about this, and this was my theory on the Ed and Eddie's Lost episode. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out some previous interesting videos, make sure to click on those two boxes in the middle.